Hey everybody, Team Nick here, and I wanted to apologize for this video being late. I should have uploaded it, I would have uploaded it Saturday, yesterday, um, Saturday the 20th, I think it is, um, but my internet has been down, and that's just been a whole thing, and, but it's back up now, so here I'm actually able to do it now. I was debating whether to do this or not, um, but I'm gonna do it, because I have a good streak going. I've been doing one every weekend so far, and so... I don't plan on stopping just yet, although I might have to slow down, <laughs> like maybe every other week. So, this is for Spider-Man Homecoming, as you've seen in the title. Um, I'm not going to go, this is the tech suit version, as in the prominent suit in the film and in Civil War. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail, because I recommend you follow me on my Flickr and Instagram, and I have a detailed explanation there. The torso I will give credit to is my friend Boss Bricks. On Flickr, he did all the webbing for and the spider logo on the front and the back, and I highly, or I very appreciate that. I'm very appreciative of that. He is a really good friend of mine, and I highly recommend you go check him out. I will put the name in the description. I can't put the link because I don't have a computer yet, but I'm working on it. So yeah, highly, bleh, I highly recommend you go check him out. The next one is the homemade suit that was at the end of the film um the eyes are actually from here i have one of my first attempts at the spider-man arm um what i did for the goggles or eyes whatever you want to call it what i did was i cut like right here on like a slant and then just stuck it on the head there and i think it looks pretty good there is some gappage on this side just a little bit um, it's not really showing up in the camera, but this side I think looks much better. It's more seamless. Um, but yeah, but me being the dummy I am, when I first painted this and stuck it on there, I stuck the black goggle parts on, but then I was like, oh crap, I need to paint the white parts of the goggle. So I had to go in there with a fine tip paintbrush and go in there, and I don't, I actually don't have that many fine tip paintbrushes. I usually use toothpicks, but, uh, Yeah. Uh, it's a little first world problem there. Um, the hoodie is Lego's hoodie, and so I think it works best. Torso is Sheldon Cooper's from the Big Bang Theory set. And here, let's get a look at that right now. So, yeah, torso, Sheldon Cooper. Uh, the tape, this is actually like some form of, I think I've talked about this before it's like some duct tape electrical tape i don't know what kind of tape it is but i just painted it put it at the bottom because i think it looks best for it the lines go over to the shoulder sockets or very close near it same with that side and the top um if i were to change one thing it would be to make the side a little bit more it would either to be move the spider logo a little bit down more and shorten, I don't know what you would call this on a hoodie, a trim, maybe? I'm, I'm not sure. Um, either short, pull it down a little bit more or make this side a little bit more, I don't know, add some more paint to this side to make it look even. I mean, it's okay now. I think it does the job. But, uh, yeah, it's just a minor nitpick. Because I know my figures aren't perfect. It's fine. I can talk about nitpicks and stuff. Um, the zipper is actually gunmetal gray. I've seen some people do, like, a s silver, but I just chose to do gunmetal because I think it looks best. The web shooters are, I think I've talked about this before, it's my index card method, where I cut out a shape and then just stick it on there. Um, they're not even, I mean, I think it does a job well, it's not even on all of them. Like, I tried, but it didn't work out as I planned. Um... But, I mean, I think it looks okay. I mean, I don't think it's even in the movie. I haven't seen the movie since it first came out in, like, what, June, July? Um, but, yeah. Uh, mini review. The movie was awesome. Uh, I think it's the best Spider-Man movie since Spider-Man 2. Um, so, yeah, I have some dark red underneath that. Uh, same with the duct tape method. I have it going around the legs, too. It is around there, and it is going on the inside as well. 
So yeah, and there is a black line going here. Let me get too picky. There's a black line going straight there for like the seam. Um, the boots, as you can see, go all the way around. Same with the, I don't know what you would call this black part, but it was on the boots and it was on his stockings, boots, whatever the hell they're called. So I decided to add them in there. So here, let's just put them together. And then I can just move on to just some side figures that I wanted to show you. That I just wanted to show y'all. So, yeah, that is the homecoming homemade suit. Um, so, these next two are really just ones I wanted to get out there. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I've already made a comic version of Spider-Man. But this time, I didn't use a fine tip Sharpie marker. <laughs> um, I actually used black paint with a toothpick. And I think it look, came out much, much, much cleaner. Um... But yeah, I think it looks a lot better, more clean, as I just stated. Um, but yeah, I think it's much better. It's not as sloppy. Um, I do have it going on the inside there. Same with the inside of the boots. It is going on in there. Um, the head, I added some white to the eyes, because the eyes were faded on mine. Like, I'm pretty sure every other Spider-Man head, the eyes are faded. Um, so I added the white in there and make it seem more prominent, I guess is the proper word. And the lines do continue on the neck area. So, yeah, there is comic accurate Spider-Man. The next one is, I feel like this character, or this version will always be in flux, it'll always be changing, same with Bronze Tiger. Um, I have Peter Parker in his everyday clothes the camera just a regular camera i added a lens to it so yeah, yeah let's get that out of here i added an indiana jones bag because he has like a sa i don't know if you would call it a satchel a bag whatever man purse um but he has one in spectacular spider-man in my opinion the greatest spider-man show so i decided to add that um the head i switched out with my flash minifigure if you've seen on my flicker because i do i was debating back and forth i was like eh, i kind of do like this one it does show more younger kid i guess you'd say so i kept it there torso it's from that lego park fun pack legs are from the batman series robin the hair is actually from that dog trainer i painted it brown and i think it looks awesome i think this is the best i'll get it I was thinking about doing the sleepy head hair, but I was afraid he would look too old. Like I want him to I want to keep him 16, 17, 18 at most. And then yeah, I mean I think this looks best for a young Peter Parker. Uh some white or yellow is chipping at this, so I do have to fix that. Um but yeah, I basically just mixed a few shades of brown and then got this cool color. And uh yeah. So that's about it. Um, I hope you all liked the video. If you didn't, tell me in the comments so you can help me become a better YouTuber. Um, follow me on Flickr and Instagram and here where I try to post new videos, um, every weekend or I'm trying to. It might be slow, it might start to get slow, but I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep working on my stuff. I do have other ideas going. Um, I have a few projects in mind. I just need pieces. Although, I am kind of broke at the moment. I need to get a job. Um, so, yes, once I get pieces for minifigures, I will... This will be going a lot quicker, a lot easier, and all that. Um, at the end of most of my videos nowadays, I've been showing teases of what's to come. So, you saw the last one. This isn't going to be the same. But uh, here is a leg of the next figure, or... I'm going to have three figures in that showcase, so I'll just leave it at that. And the next one, um, I'm just going to do it really quick, because I like the character. Wait, wait. <laughs> that's a better one. That's a better one. Alright, that's better. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, that will probably be next week's video, that last figure that you just saw. Um, so yeah, like I said, hope you all liked the video. If you didn't, tell me why. Uh, follow me on Flickr and Instagram, and I will see y'all in the future. Bye!